Raymond James Stadium, home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, is where today's game will come to you from. Thanks for joining us. Well, we've had quite a year so far with some incredible individual performances, and we're just about ready to get this one started as the Panthers square off against the Buccaneers. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get this game started. Number nine, he's just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by O'Neal. O'Neal is able to get it to the 18-yard line. Should be a beauty with two of the most talented defensive units in the league. We all know the defense wins championships. And we'll be watching two of the best that the NFL has to offer in this one. Both of these teams really get after the quarterback and create a lot of pressure. Don't be surprised if we see a lot of takeaways. Play action. Pressure coming. Sack. Big man gets in there for a big sack. He's got a great combination of size and move. He won't be winning any races. But he's good at getting after the quarterback. And let me tell you, you never want him to be the guy falling on top of you. Following the sack, it's second and long. All on the 14 yard line. Only one man back, and he gets the delayed handle. Seymour comes up to make the play at the 17. They've got to dig into their third and long playbook to see if they can come up with something good here. They're probably going to see some kind of blitz. Third and 11. Ball on the 17 yard line. Nothing deep. Number 19 starts out of the shotgun. Throws it. Almost picked off. That was a good play. Turned bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 45 yard line. So they have first and 10 here. On the 45 yard line. Foster, the lone back. it off to the back, keeps his feet moving. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass play. Gain of about a yard. Ball on their own 45. Here we go, baby, rock and roll! Gives the ball off. Number 38 is there on the stop at the 49. Foster picks up some tough yards there. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 49 yard line. Number six with a man in motion. Drops back. There he goes. Williams comes up to make the play. Right here is how he can hurt you. They get him in a third down situation. And if they can give him a lane to run through, he's going to take it. And right there, he takes it for a big first down. tired and on its heels these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on ball on the 33 yard line ball on the 33 yard line 
The Buccaneers line up in a 4 3. Throws it. Right on target to the wide receiver. Can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. First and ten. Ball on the 23 yard line. You can't stop me. Watch his play. The Bucks come out in the 4 3. Hand it off to the back. Number 38 is there on the stop at the 19-yard line. Boston rumbles forward for a gain of four. Second and six. Ball on the 19-yard line. It's showtime, baby. It off. Loose ball. The Buccaneers scoop up the fumble. Those are the things you hate as a coach. You tell your guys to protect the ball and don't turn it over, but that time they just squirted it out of there and the defense was all over. Deep in their own territory. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Only one man back. With a counterplay. Tino Samoa is there on the stop. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. Ball on their own 12. Watch him back! Watch him in. Drops back. Gets rid of it. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Harris was his intended target. Seymour, Seymour the was there on the coverage. Third and 12. Ball on the 12 yard line. Let's go! The Panthers line up in the quarter defense. Deep throw. And he just can't hang it. I'll tell you, that was a tough one. When you're playing in these types of conditions, even the easy passes can be hard to hang on to. Player will come in now to punt it away. Number 23. He's back to receive this kick. And he signals for the fair catch. They'll take over at the 48-yard line. First and ten. Watch it! Oh, no, no! Get it up! With a counterplay. Freeney is there on the stop at the 49-yard line. John, the coaches are always talking about his intensity and awareness. And those are the type of plays where you see those qualities really showing himself. He's a cornerstone of this defense. And he always seems to be in the right position to make the play. The Bucks with a four-man front. Aims it off. Setting up play action. Going deep. Broken up. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. Third and 13. Ball on the 49 yard line. Here we go. The Buccaneers come out of the nickel package. With the pass. This one falls incomplete. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested. Nothing happening on that drive and they'll punt it away.
This one goes out of bounds. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 16 yard line. The Panthers come out in a nickel package. Let's go, boys! Here we come. Looking to run it here. Williams is there for the Jackson tackle the at line. the 22. Running the ball consistently is a first step in creating a balanced attack. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. Harris moves in motion. comes up to make Jackson the play. The when you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense on it. But if you're only getting gains like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Third ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24 yard line. Number 19 with a man in motion. Crosses it left. Seymour stops him Jackson short of the marker. The third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Punt number three is upcoming. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 38 yard line. The ball on their own 38. Start the drive at the 38 yard line. First and 10. The Buccaneers come out in a nickel package. Going to the right. Number 56 is there for the tackle at the 43-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. It's second down and six to go. On the 43-yard line. Defense, get ready. The backs are lined up in an eye. Olsen comes in motion. With the throw. Steps out of bounds at the 48. Great throw to beat the zone. I'll tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. First and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. There we go, baby. Rock and roll. Foster, the lone setback. Throws it. He was tipped. And that's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Second and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Buccaneers with a four man front. Give it to the handback. Conway is there on the stop at the 45. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass play. They can burn on the third down. They have to Ball reach the 38. The, the Bucks come out in a nickel right, pack. Watch the snap now. Up on the two, baby. Check it. Let's go. Throwing. It's loose. The Buccaneers scoop it up. He was able to rip that one away from the ball carriers. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Let's go, defense. Give me ball. The defense lines up in the nickel. Dropping back to pass on first down. Throws it. Drops the intercept. The Number 99 had pass. his hands on it. I think he was invisible out one. there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Hey. 
second and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. They ain't got nothing. You gotta have it, D. Nothing. Number 19 with a man in motion. On the call. This one will be spotted at the 32. So that tackle now gives him four. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. But blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. Third down here. They have to get it to the 31-yard line to convert. Harris moves in motion. Seymour stops him for negative yardage. So they can't get the first, but they might attempt a long field goal. The first quarter has been dominated by the defensive units. Still, no score. The teams has what side will strike the second quarter. Here we go. This will take the lead. Clearly not the result he was looking for. So they're ready to go on offense after the missed field goal. They'll start at the 41. They line up in the I formation. Crosses it out to the right. Earl records the stop. Foster takes the pitch for a gain of three. Let's make it four. Ball on their own 45. Ball on the 45 yard line. Watch the fight. Play football. The Buccaneers line up in a 4 3. On the 10, 10. Gets the toss to the left. Number 38 is there on the stop at the 46. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been to them. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46 yard line. The Bucks come out in a nickel package. Looking upfield. They'll go with a play fake. The veteran slips in there and gets the sack. Hey, you still got to no give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact plays. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. From the 16-yard line. The Buccaneers will start the drive at the 18-yard line. First and 10. Jackson is the deep back. Mitchell, the motion man. It's the toss to the left. Tinoe Samoa breaks the play up in the backfield. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and 14. Ball on the 15-yard line. Watch the snap now. Jackson, the lone back. Number 12 moves in motion. They'll blow this play dead because there appears to have been early movement. Let's start on the offense. Number 67. Thomas was flagged for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. So we'll have a second and long after the penalty. We like to crack the rules. Keep the throttle down. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Third and long. Ball on the 10-yard line. 
They'll go from the shotgun. Under pressure with the pass. Almost intercepted. Tinui Samoa had his hands on him. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Offense couldn't get it done, and they'll line up to punt. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Ball at midfield. At the 49-yard line. First and 10. Here we go. Foster, the deep man. Hey, number like six, move, like with a man in motion. Keep moving. Let's go. To carry it. This one was spotted at the 45. So that tackle was his third. You have a good balance of run and pass on offense. The defense doesn't have a chance to focus in on either one of them. They need to be prepared to cover both options. Gain of Second four. Ball on the 45-yard line. 45-yard line. Lucky, lucky. We turn it up. Bucks line up in a 4-3. Throwing. And the catch is made. Number 38 oh, is there for the tackle down at the 36-yard line. Johnny has such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. And that makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Get it up. Get Number 19 it. goes in motion. Gets the call. Number 38 is there on the stop at the 32. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Second and five. Ball on the 32-yard line. Here we go. The Buccaneers come out in a nickel pack. The rush is on. It's rid of it. And it's complete. Conway comes up to make the play. Foster picks up about four yards on that play, so they'll be looking at third down. On third down, they need to get it to the 26 to convert. The Bucks line up in a 4-3. Well, misdirection. Number 56 is there for the tackle at the 21-yard line. Good pick up on the ground, able to convert for a first down. They did a heck of a job selling that counter play. The defense was flowing in one direction while the play was going the other. One or two more blocks, and he might have broken free. The Buccaneers come out in a 4-3. We're talking about Watch your eyes. Hand off to the tailback. Glover comes up to make the play. At the 17, Holmes rumbles forward for a gain of four. Second and six. Let's go, be through. Last time down here, they launched the ball on a fumble. Throws it. Pushed out of bounds. It's a one-yard line. It's three times in this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. One more yard for the touchdown. Foster, the lone setback. Come on. On the call. Roy Glover plays the run well, but he's also a pretty good pass rusher. Four more yards to the end zone. Keep moving. They line up in the I formation. Play action. Takes off. Carter is there on the stop at the three. Didn't get very far. This is a guy who's willing to run with it any time on any down in any situation. This time the defense was ready, and they got him before he could get very far. They're three yards away from scoring. Bring it up, bring it up. Watch your man. Foster, the deep man. 
from the blue, baby. Hand off to the tailback. Conway is there for the tackle at the one-yard line. Now watch how this defense comes up with a big stop. They're backed up in their own end zone trying to keep those guys off the board, and they make a play like that. That's a heck of a defensive play. And Elam makes good on the short field goal attempt after the offense drives it into the red zone. They had everything clicking at first and kind of sputtered out, but they still get points. Number nine no, looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. This one is taken by O'Neill. Let's see if this possession is more effective after their last possession ended in a punt. <laughs> Almost at the two-minute mark now. The at the 20 -yard line. First and 10. Jackson, the lone back. Matt, the man in motion. Hand it off. Seymour is there for this tackle at the 20 yard line. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. One yard gain on that play. So two minutes left before halftime. Keep it up. Let's go, Pete. Let's go. The Buccaneers line up in Tripp's bunch. Closing in with the throw. Ooh, nearly picked off. Williams had the coverage on the play. The intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're coming to the left. Blitz is coming. Carolina calls a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. That's just a case of an overload where the defense had more guys rushing than the offense had blocking. Number 23. Gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 46 yard line. They'll start the drive at the 46 yard line. First and 10. Number six scans the defense from the gun. Gets the pass off. He was tipped. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Henry was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Here we come. Number six will work out of the shotgun. Here we go. Pressure with the throw, and it's complete. Number 28 is there for the Foster tackle at the, the 49. Foster picks up about four yards on that play, so they'll be looking at third down. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 44 to convert. They come out in a dime package. Throws it. And he makes the grab. Number 23 caught it short of the first down marker. <laughs> Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away.
Fair catch called for. So they have first and ten here. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. He'll pass on first down. With the throw, he finds his way. Thompson is there for the tackle at the 33-yard line. They completed the pass for a first down. And they did it against the cover, too. So the quarterback found a soft spot, and he got first it in there. It's All first and ten. Three-yard line. Let's run, man. Go make the play. Watch the play. Pass play here on first down. Stepping up. Gets rid of it. It's broken up. Ward was the intended receiver on that play. Number 99 with the coverage. The Panthers come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. With the throw, and he lets it slip out of his grasp. He can catch just about anything that the quarterback throws in his direction. But he couldn't find a way to quiet that one down and bring it in for a catch. Third and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Watch him in. All on that job. The Panthers come out in a dime package. Long throw. He's there for the catch. Timeout call by the offense. We need to watch the guys up front on this play. They're going to be passing. And the best thing the defense can do here is to get some pressure on the quarterback. Either throw a pick or take him down for the sack. Harris, the motion man. Pressure coming. He gets there and pulls him down from behind. See, Line had some problems with their assignments on that play. It just couldn't get the defenders at bay. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. It keeps the same defense on the field. And so they come out to try to tie it up. That ball is the no good. And didn't make it through. And this should be the last play of the half at the 30-yard line. First and ten. Come on, get me going. The Buccaneers line up in a 4-3. Hands it off to the back. Freeman is there for the tackle. At the end of two, the score is 3 0. Panthers. The Panthers, three. The Buccaneers, nothing. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Stevens is back and ready to put this one in the air. From the one yard line. Carolina is looking to add to their slim lead as they take over on offense. As expected, John, the defensive struggle right from the start. And you got to give a lot of credit to these defensive units. They both came in here ready to play. It's been a close contest so far. Neither team is showing any signs of letting up. The Buccaneers with a four-man front. On the carry. This 
will be spotted at the 26. He records his third tackle of the game. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Just about a three-yard game. Second and seven. They give it to the halfback. Number 38 is there on the stop. Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. And that's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzers in to try and stop him in the backfield, but he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. First Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. Keep the throttle down. Hey, Foster, the, the deep back. Number what's six what's with a man in motion. Under pressure, this pass is incomplete. They did a nice job up front with their bull rushes and rips and stunts, forcing adjustments along the offensive line. They have to do a better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. But they're going to have a tough Second time whenever they drop back ball to throw. the 37-yard line. Watch your man. Get it on. Let's go. The Bucks Let's go, with a four-man front on the carry. Conway is there on the stop. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. He'll be faced with a long third down play here. The Buccaneers come out in a nickel package. With the pass, and this pass is completed. And a powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first, first down. Ball on the 40-yard line. Play football. Not today. The Bucks Nothing. line up in a 4-3. Come on! All day, baby! Come on! Looking for room. This one will be spotted at the 38. He stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. Ball on the 38-yard line. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Buccaneers come out in a nickel pack. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. You talk about great hands and great concentration. He showed all those things there, and he knew where the sideline was to make the grab. On third down, they have to get it to the 30 for a first. The Bucks line up in a 4 3. Hand it off. Leroy Glover was the man to bring him down. That's his third tackle. They're putting together a nice drive here. And they're frustrating this defense in the process. Two times they've converted on third down. First Ball on the 27-yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. The Buccaneers with a four-man front. I'll come to baby. It off to the back. William is there on the stop at the 27-yard line. He likes to run in behind his blockers and then make a cut off their hip for a big game. But that strategy didn't work here. This is the 10th play of this drive. The 27-yard line. Here we go. The Bucks line up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Play action. Getting some air under this one. Looking for his man, Deep. Touchdown, Touchdown Carolina. Now that's just great field awareness. Giving your quarterback a target in the back of the end zone while knowing exactly where you are. Elam comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Now that's just the type of thing that you come to expect from these guys. They do a really good job scripting the plays that they're going to be running. 
and they do a great job of executing them when they run them. Number nine no, is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by O'Neill. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. Ball on their own 20. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. They'll pass on first down. On the run. Almost picked off. The pass, pass was his intended target. Pass. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. We like to practice rules. Not today. Let's go. On the chair. With a counter play. Number 99 is there for the tackle at the 23-yard line. Nixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. Third and seven. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Hand it off. Runs it over. But the water tackles it, and they won't get the first. Not getting the first down, it will probably bring out the punter. Player comes into the game for the punt. Number 23 lines up deep for the punt return. He signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 36 yard line. The ball on their own 36. The drive at the 36 yard line. First and 10. The Buccaneers with a four man front. Boy, the counter play. Conway comes up to make the play at the 38. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. So a pickup of maybe three. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Let's go! Watch the play. To carry it. Play action. There he goes. We're going to spot this one at the 40. So he does a good job to get it out of the play and records his eighth tackle. Number six. Tried to take off with it, but the defense was waiting. And that's the advantage to running a zone cover. Everyone is looking at the quarterback, and it makes it much more difficult for him to run for any yardage. Defense, get ready. Danny, Danny, Danny. The Bucks with a four-man front. Closing in. Incomplete pass. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Number nine is ready to punt this one away. O'Neill back to return. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 17 yard line. First Ball on their own 17. Ball on the 17 yard line. Clear! Clear! Be careful! Don't no stop, don't no stop that moment! Going to the air on first down. Pressure with the pass, and it's caught. Seymour is there for the tackle. He found a soft spot in the coverage, John. The receiver did a great job reading the coverage. He found a hole in the zone, and the quarterback found him in that hole with the pass. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24-yard line. Let's go now. Watch this. They line up in the I formation. We're talking about bringing. Yeah, you see. Hand it off to the fullback. Nice play fake. 
Gets rid of it. Gets his hand on it. In these conditions, the rain clearly a big factor. The quarterback has to make sure that he has a good grip on the ball before he lets it go. When it's raining like this, it's not unusual to see a few more bad snaps, fumbles, incompletions, and stuff like that out there. Let's go, let's go! Only one man in the backfield. With the throw, the 40. Thompson is there for the tackle at the 45-yard line. They get 20 yards there on third down. Ball on their own 45. Ball on the 45-yard line. They both left. They stop, Jackson lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Hit off on the draw. They're going to spot this one at the 46. And that tackle gives him three in the game. The defensive tackle surge through the line to bring the runner down. It's second down and eight to go. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Here comes the blitz. Drops the interception. This was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Receiver on the play. Third and eight. Ball on the 46-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Carolina comes out in a dime package. This too easy. Let us get Let's go, be Stop, no stop that motor. Pressure coming. Going long. Nearly intercepted. Williams was there on the cover. Player will come in now to punt it away. Number 23 sets up to run back the punt. And he waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 18 yard line. Carol on their own 18. Start the drive at the 18 yard line. First and ten. Up, to carry it. Fakes the handle. Throwing. And it's caught. Cold for is there for the tackle. He's always very composed in the pocket, John. Nothing rattles him. Yeah, when you talk about guys that can handle the pressure and find the open receiver, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. First Ball on their own 31. Ball on the 31-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. Get it going. The Buccaneers with a four-man front on the ground. Earl is there on the stop at the 37-yard line. Boston runs it through the middle again of about six. Second and four coming up here. On the 37-yard line. One back. The Bucks come out in a four-three. They ain't got nothing. Hand it off. Leroy Glover has been around the ball all day and records his fourth tackle. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry, but there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. And he picks up about four. The Buccaneers with a four-man front. With a counter play. Carter is there for the tackle at the 46. Pickup of about five that produces a fresh set of downs. Yeah, and the offensive line did a pretty good job picking up the blitz, giving him the extra time he needed to find the hole. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46 yard line. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Panthers ahead of the Buccaneers 10 0. The Panthers have the ball on a two score advantage as we get set for the final quarter.
Ball on their own 46. The Bucks with a four-man front. Riggs moves in motion. Hand off on the draw. Leroy Glover brought him down. That's his fifth tackle of the game. Boston rumbles forward for a gain of four. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 49 yard line. Get it up! Keep the throttle down. The Buccaneers come out in a 4 3. Drops back with the pass. Number 38 is there for the tackle at the 29. The powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throat. This guy really let it go. First Ball on the 29-yard line. The Bucks with a four-man front. Roll that game off. Conway comes up to make the play at the 26. So a pickup of maybe three. And this is the eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 26-yard line. Henry in motion. Hold the look. Let's go, D. Let's go. Do some, do some. It's the toss to the right. Cold for is there on the stop. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100 percent, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. They have to get it down to at least the 19-yard line. Six yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The Bucks come out on a nickel package. Drops back. With the throw. Gets his hand up. Great position and great reaction made that play happen. Number 38. Had the coverage on the play. for the kick and it should be about a 43 yard attempt. The, field the kick down. sails through. It's, it's good. good. They get three more to go up by 13. This one is handled by O'Neill. If they want a shot in this one, they got to put something together on this drive. There just isn't much time left. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Only one man back on the call. Seymour is there on the stop at the 22 yard line. Jackson takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. What's green? The Panthers come out of the nickel pack with the throw. This one falls oh, incomplete, falls and he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz, and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack, and that time he just missed taking him down. Third and eight, ball on the 22-yard line. Turn over, baby! Watch out! This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Fires this one deep. He made the catch. Bartell with the stop at the 47. This is a guy who comes to play. And he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time they need him to convert on third down. And he's there for the reception and the first down. Hey, watch that screen! You can't stop me. 
Good football! Here's Robin. Hey! Where's the ball? Gets the pass off. He was tipped. He needs to do a better job putting the pass on the spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Number 12 was the intended receiver on that play. Second and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. Everything you've got is on. Danny, Danny. They'll go from the I formation. Come on. Keep the throttle down. The rush is on. Throwing. Almost intercepted. The, the defender got in between the ball and the receiver the again. Intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Keep it up. Here we go, D. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. With the pass. Number 42 is there on the stop. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Hey, watch the boot. Here we go. Watch this. Pass play here on first down. Gets the pass off. Gets his hand on it. And when it's raining like this, you have to make sure you get the ball secured. Looked like he might have taken his eye off the ball at the last second. And that had a lot to do with him losing it. Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 23-yard line. Hey, watch that screen. Let's go now. Jackson, the lone back. Number 19 with a man in motion. Drops back. Under pressure. Rowing. Ooh, nearly picked off. Ward was his intended target. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Out of the shotgun. Here they come. Steps up. Big time left. They broke the house on that play, John, getting in there to bring him down. When you bring that many guys, you better get it there before he throws it. Because if he can get it to one of those receivers, a lot of times it's six points. After the sack, they'll face fourth and long. We're talking about William. As expected, they'll go for it here. Going for it on fourth. They'll need a big play here. Going long. What a catch. He put up six points by beating the coverage. Well, the cover two works well because it eliminates option. At that time, the quarterback made a quick read, and he got it off quickly. Stevens comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. The Bucks find themselves right back in this one. Now it's up to the defense to hold them. Tampa Bay is lined up for the kickoff. Hester back to return. This one is taken by number 23. The it's Panthers first and ten. Will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and ten. Is there Marshall on the stop the carry. at the 22? Two Boston battles his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pickup. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. Hey, 
Buccaneers, go, go, go. The Buccaneers line up in a 4 3. Hey, you gotta believe it, it's on day. We turn it up. On the ground, Conway comes up to make the play at the 23. Boston has his way forward for what appears to be a two yard pick. Third and seven coming up here. All on the 23 yard line. The Bucks come out in a nickel package. One back. With the throw, complete to the wide receiver, Cole Claw is there for the tackle. This is good communication between a quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. the play. And the player is getting up slowly. We'll head toward the sideline and we'll have an injury report as soon as possible. Ball on their own 34. Ball on the 34 yard line. Watch the snap now. Defense get ready. Come on. Looks like someone jumped early. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Number 82. Also moved a little down. early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the Seven ball snaps. Almost at the two minute mark now. Hold the look. There we go. We're talking about Reed. So we're going to take it. Pull in this direction. He's there on the stop. Lost the ball on the counter. Short gain about a yard. Two-minute warning coming up. The injury earlier was a severe contusion to his elbow. They'll ice it, but he will not be able to return to the game. And we've reached the two-minute mark. Ball on the 30-yard line. Hey, let's go. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. On the ground. Glover is there for the tackle at the 36. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team's coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Number nine comes into the game for the punt. O'Neal sets up, waiting for the punt. He signals for a fair catch. We've got a good one going here today. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Watch the play. Let's go. Set. Let's go, D. Let's go. Let's turn it up, D. Watch the man. Throwing. The pass ball's incomplete. The pass Time ball is working complete. against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're, they're going to keep going to the air, the but it might be a little too late. The defense doing everything they can to keep this last drive out of the end zone. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Clear! Clear! Let's go, let's go. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Let's go, be physical. 
Everything you've got. They'll bring the blitz. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. The defense was coming after him on that play. He knew he didn't have much time, and he decided to get rid of the ball quickly on that one. Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Blows him in with the pass. He hits his receiver. Bartell is there on the stop at the 37. He's trying to get them back to the line. With the throw, it's broken up. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Defense, get ready. Hold the look. Come on. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Come on. All on up, y'all. Pressure. Time out. All a timeout. They have one remaining. That's just what this defense wants. They do a good job of setting the pace and making the offense adjust to what they're doing out there. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. The Panthers come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. Drops back with the pass. The wide receiver has it. Number 42 comes up to make the play. At the 44. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Just couldn't get that pass under control. They go for it and don't make it. That was a conversion the offense needed. They have to be disappointed, and it's worse because now the other team has the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Looks like they'll take a knee right here and save the victory. Tampa Bay calls a timeout. They have no timeouts left. Second and 12. Ball on the 46-yard line. So they'll just wind the clock down and get out of here with a win. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Third down, they have to get it to the 34-yard line for a first. Hand off to the tailback. William is there for the tackle at the 44. Carolina cannot convert a third down today. That's the ninth time. Let me tell you, I'm seeing a team who is getting physically beat up. Give a lot of credit to the defensive coordinator for being prepared and putting his players in a position to make plays. O'Neal is the deep return man. Spot this one where it went out. This is one of those spots where they have to put something together because they're just running out of time. Time for just one last heave to the end zone. The defense cares about only one thing here. They can't let the ball cross the goal line. And if the ball's in the air, they just have to knock it down instead of trying to pick it off. Number 19, change the defense from the gun. They'll pass on first down. Deep throw. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. 
fairly low scoring game with less than a touchdown, separating these two very well coached teams. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.